Your mindset is the reason why you're not where you're supposed to be. I need you to confront you because you don't want holding you up. I need you to confront you. I need you to look in the mirror and tell you, you are not going to do me like this no more. You're not going to continue to sabotage you. You're not, you're not going to keep procrastinating. I need you. You're not. There are those of you who are looking at that person or that thing and saying, it's messing you up. That's not the truth. You're messing you up. You always want to blame other people. You want to hold other people to the fire, but you're not holding yourself to the fire. You just say, are you giving 50%? You owe you an explanation. You owe you an explanation. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? Everything that you want, everything that you dream of, everything that you want to possess is phenomenal, except for you. Is it that you're not where you're supposed to be because you don't have what it takes? Are you not where you're supposed to be because you don't have the opportunity? No, 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 no. What it boils down to is you're not where you're supposed to be because you average. Every single thing you do is average. I'm suggesting to you that if you want to be great, that you're the first in the class and you're the last one to leave. I suggest that you study every single day. You take every single note. You listen to every single thing the teacher tells you. Be small. You go to the training and you're listening and you're writing. Be small. You have to get to a place where you become comfortable with being uncomfortable. We no longer place ourselves in positions that make us feel good. Because listen here, boo. Some of what you want, some of what you're trying to get, ain't in the comfort zone. And so what you want is not in the comfort zone. You got to come out of the comfort zone to get what you want. You are where you are because of your feelings. You're not on principles right now. That's not what drives you. You would be a millionaire right now if you stopped going back to bed. Yeah, you got the mentor. Yeah, you got the book. So what? The books can't make you get your butt off. But what can is your principles, and I want you all to get to the point where you are mature enough to say that even though it does not feel good, even though I don't like it, even though it's not something that I want to do, I can't keep doing what I feel because it's not going to take me where I'm trying to get to. At the end of your feelings is possibly nothing, but at the end of your principle is a promise. And some of you are where you are. If you can be real with yourself, you have gotten yourself in some mess because of your feeling. You need to take personal responsibility for your life. It's about no more excuses. It's about no more trials and tribulations. Not not happening, but getting in your way. It's about doing whatever it takes. It's about getting up as early as you need to, and your grind has to match your dream. You can't play as much as you used to play. You can't go where you used to go. You can't do what you used to do. And now you got to push your grind up to match your dream. I need you to pick your grind up.